What up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's your guy, some, some, some. Hit the keys here today to do a quick review and demonstration over Horror Box 2 Lite by Electronic Sound Lab. Um, it's basically a VST geared up for, you know, maybe a video game or scoring horror movies or making maybe horrorcore or, you know, even throwing in whatever kind of genre of music that you like. Uh, make sure if you guys like this content, you drop a whole elbow on that like button, hit subscribe and that notification bell. So every time we bring you guys a new video, you can be the first to find out. But let's go ahead and get right into Horror Box 2. Push. Some, some, some. Hit the key. All right, guys, so I brought you to the website first. Uh, when you get to the website, it's basically going to look like this. It's going to tell you Horror Box 2 Lite. Um, it's an instrument for Windows and Mac. Um, it does work for uh, Big Sur on Mac, but only the Intel based Mac. So if you're working with the M1, it does not work on the M1 chip. Um, it's got basically 10 different presets and 16 different sound layers, which makes it kind of dope. Um, it's got obviously all the regular stuff, the ADSR, the uh, LFO, 100% um, uh, royalty free. In order to grab it, you're just going to scroll down to where it says that free version. Boom, you're going to smack that free button one time, and then you're going to scroll down um, to where it says enter your price. We already know um, you can give them a couple dollars if you want, or you can tap zero. Um, you can push add to cart and then it'll add it to the cart for you. Um, and then, it, you know, all you do is enter your email address in to get it. So, boom, we're going to enter an email address um, push get. Um, and then after you push get, basically, it'll tell you um, to view your content um, and then it'll bring it up here. And then all you have to do is download it. So we're going to go ahead and we're just going to hit this download button real quick. And once you download it, it'll only take a few seconds to download. Um, so then once you download this, um, all you're going to have to do is pull up whatever folder that you put your VSTs in. Um, so, you know, I always show you guys this, but I'll show you again. So we're going to go into program files and for me, it's uh, Steinberg or it might be VST or you might just keep it in this folder, which is your common folder. Um, all you have to do is come here to this folder once it finishes loading, um, show in folder. And then what you're going to do is you're going to drag and drop that folder into your other folder. So you're going to take it and you're just going to open this up and you're just going to pull this file right here, and drag it and drop it into your VST folder. I've already done that, so I'm not going to do it again. Um, and then you're going to search for it in your DAW. So when you open up the plugin, it's going to look like this. Um, basically it's got, you know, your ADSR, it's got your cutoff, your volume, your mod depth and rate. Um, and then it's got a bunch of stuff so that you can mess with the layers of the actual, um, there's lay, you can layer the sounds together. They have different effects for the layers and then you can pan it different directions. Um, so I didn't make a beat. I, I just kind of, um, pulled the plugin up and was messing with it. Um, so I'm just going to go through this and play some of the sounds. So here's some of the sounds that you're going to hear in here. So here's the first one. That's pretty dope. It's a pretty eerie sound. Um, here's the second uh, preset. That's pretty solid as well. Um, the next one sounds like this. Uh, the fifth one's going to sound like this. Um, so these are great for building to suspense, whether it's in a track or in a movie score or a video game or whatever it is that you're doing. Um, and then the coolest part isn't even necessarily the sound, it's the layers. And I'm going to get into the layers here in just a moment because you can do pretty cool stuff with the layers and some other different sounds that you might have. So then this is what this one's going to sound like.
So um, again, in my opinion, those are all pretty decent um, layers. Um, there's another expansion that comes with it. So, you know, you're just going to click it. It's going to be right here and it's going to be five more sounds for you. Um, so here we go with those. Let me turn that up a little bit. So that's pretty cool. Little sound that pans back and forth. Um, let's go to the next one. Then the next one. So then we'll go ahead and go to the next one. I believe this is the last one. All right. So what's cool is, you know, obviously you can layer this with other stuff. So I basically um, have some um, strings that I have. I'm not going to say they're the scariest strings in the world, but I just put together a little loop of just some strings. I'm going to run that with um, just with these effects real quick, because uh, I just want you to hear how dope this sounds. Like, let's say you were just wanted to um, you wanted to add a little texture or something to some strings. You could use all these different layers and you can turn off the original sound if you wanted to so like um here's what the original sound sounds like so you know it's got that deep part in there and it's got some other noises in there now here's what the strings sound like So I could take that and put it together, obviously. But what you can also do is you can turn off uh, the actual master volume and just get the effects. Now all you're getting is the effects layers down here. So like I'm going to um, go ahead and mute the um, strings for a second. And here's what the different effects layers sound like. So that's just one of the layers. It's this layer right here. So like if I turn up this layer, I'll go through each layer. That's pretty cool. Next layer. That would sound pretty dope with the strings. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and play the second set of strings. That's the one I meant to play or the first set of strings. But that would sound pretty dope with this. You know what I'm saying? So like you can do some pretty dope stuff with uh, these effects um, to the track. Actually, I feel like this is the best part of the whole plugin, not to knock the sounds or anything like that. I just feel like this is the best part. Um, just bread and butter. And then you can pan too. So you can pan it left and right if you want. I mean, I know it's not the biggest deal, but you can. It's got the water and all that so you can find different um, effects that you like mix them all together and then you got just something that's just a pretty nice layer for your beat or whatever it is that you're doing whether it's movie score video game whatever it is that you're doing and i'll play that with the little strings
that's pretty dope. You know, my personal opinion, I definitely recommend checking it out. If you're making anything with horror or you're making something where you want to do some suspense or you want to do some kind of break where you do suspense in um, your music or whatever it is like that. I can't stress enough. It's free. Um, it's out there. So um, I'll go ahead and leave the link below in the description as always. Uh, make sure if you guys like this content, you drop a whole elbow on that like button, hit subscribe and that notification bell. So every time we bring you guys a new video, you can be the first to see. Appreciate you guys' time as always. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. All right, guys and gals, thanks for watching the video. Uh, make sure you hit the subscribe and like button. Uh, make sure you hit that notification bell so every time a new video comes out, you can be the first to know. Uh, let me know what tutorials you want to see next in the comments, and see you next time. Some, some, some hit the key.